Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I am back with my empties. It is Sunday the 15th, I believe. Is it, yeah, the 15th. Um, I have actually tried filming this video a couple times, but I kept having things come up. Like I had plans and they got changed sooner. So I was like trying to rush the, through the video and then I kept getting phone calls. So I had to just stop the video, but Anyway, so I am here today on Sunday to do my empties this week. Um, I am pretty happy with the amount that I finished up. As you can see, I did, I finished up a pretty decent amount. And um, there's a lot that I have just been warming that I didn't finish. Um, I've also been doing some mixing this past week. And what else that I want? Oh, so prior to this week, I was warming, um, I'm gonna like spread my legs out a little bit because my legs like to fall asleep because I sit down weird. Um, but so prior to this week, I, the way that my like melting schedule was working was I would come home from work. Generally I come home like a quarter after five and I would have the wax changed out by about 5.30 and um, I would let that scent go until the next day, whenever I would come home from work again around 5.15 or so, and then change it around 5.30. Um, because I have so much wax and I love all of the scents that I have, I guess, um, and I just want to make sure that I'm warming through things and because I have a lot of wax right now and I have a Super Tarts order coming in, I spend a lot of my time in my living room now. Before it was like hanging out in my bedroom and uh, I would put a relaxing scent in there. Now I kind of want to change out my wax in like my living room, dining room. Keep the scent, cause like I'll put the same scent generally in my living room, dining room, and kitchen. Now I'm letting the kitchen, I change out the kitchen around again, 5.30 and then I'll let that go for the rest of the night. And then I change out my living room, dining room because I spend a lot of time in the in that area. So that's what I've been doing. And um, so I've been changing out my wax twice a day during the week. During the weekend, same thing. Um, I'll put in like a coffee scent. That's kind of just a gist of what I've been doing. So, um, and I, I just, I really like having like fruity, citrusy, fizzy, whatever, since it's summertime. Uh, when I get home, it's so hot here, you guys. It's been like 95 degrees plus, and um, I just, I've been wanting those summer scents, but you know, when the day is coming to an end, the sun is going down, I do like to put in kind of a more calming, relaxing scent um, for the rest of the night. So that's what I've been doing recently. I don't have a melting basket. Um, I will probably at some point end up doing like a summer collection video and showing you guys what I have in my summer stash of what I've been picking out of my collection to melt. So anyways, let's just get started. So I do want to mention, I did finish up a body wash from L3 and Vanilla Birch and today's October 3rd. So ori originally I ordered um, just today's October 3rd by itself in the body wash, but they accidentally sent me Vanilla Birch with today's October 3rd. And then they sent me another one. So I got this one like as a freebie, which was super nice of them to do. Um, I'll be honest, I love the scent and I love that today's October 3rd body wash by itself. I don't really notice a big difference, I'll be honest, in like the scent really. I think that the just plain today's October 3rd is probably a little bit stronger. Um, I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of these body washes from them just because they don't they really dry my skin out, I'll be honest. And um, and I've noticed it because I've been using other body washes and they don't make me dry out. This one, this one really does dry me out. So it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. I really wanted to give them a try. It could just be my skin or my brain, I don't know. But um, I've noticed I have to like apply lotion quite a bit. And I don't always wear lotion right after I get out of the shower, but um, especially in the summertime, but I've had to with that. So it is what it is. It's okay though. All right, getting on to wax that I finished. Um, peach, 
or peachy keen. This is from Salt Mountain Melts and it's peach ring lemonade. Um, I got this in, I think I got this in a D stash and I love this, you guys. I was so shocked. This is not like cat pee um, scent to me at all. It really is like lemonade with peach rings or something like that. It, this was so good. I have, I'm actually finishing this up right now in my living, no, in my bedroom, no, oh my gosh. I'm finishing this up in both of my bathrooms my in my guest bedroom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And um, it really is good. Again, it's not like the bad peach. So if you're kind of scared of peach, I still think you would really like that. Just kind of a heads up. Um, I'm gonna try to go in order for the, the best that I can by like vendor and that way I'm not going all over the place. Um, I should have done this first, but these are from Mainstays and they're the same scent. It's Soak Up the Sun and it's Salted Peach, Golden Raspberry and Warm Sand. So I melted this, I'm gonna say in my, um, in my, I know I did this in my open area. This was, when did I do this? I'm gonna say like early on in the week this week. And I put both of these throughout my whole open area. And um, honestly, it just, it didn't really do much for me. It wasn't really something that stuck out to me as like anything amazing. Um, I don't get the peach. I don't get raspberry to me, it's just, I guess it's kind of like a golden sands type vibe, but with a little bit of a sweetness to it. This is a very beachy type blend. I wasn't really crazy about this, to be honest. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I wanted to try it out because it sounded good to me, um, or it smelled good on cold. And you know, it smelled very similar on warm, but I just wasn't a fan. From Scentsy, I finished up a clam or a bar in vanilla blackberry. So I, I did like this. It wasn't a favorite. I kind of felt like the more that I melted it, the less I loved it. I mean, I liked I liked it. Um, and I wouldn't be opposed to having another one, but it just, it didn't like, again, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this was so good. But I ended up mixing it with Dessa's Homespun Scents Beachside Linen, which is sun-dried linen and salty sea air. I put one cube in each of my, um, warmers i had one in my bedroom and the other one in my guest room and i put one cube of this in there just to see what it would be like um i got this from my friend scott you guys i'll talk about this in a minute but it wasn't really anything great with this so um yeah i don't know i think this might be a good blender for the other things but it, it was good i i don't really think i'm even that big of a fan of black raspberry vanilla and this one was it was okay. I mean, it just, it wasn't anything amazing. But like I was talking about, I did finish this beachside linen from Dess's and it was amazing. Um, I loved this. I think I'm realizing that, you know, like beach nights, we were talking about beach nights. First of all, thank you guys so much for mentioning the beach night scent um, from Sassy Girl. I didn't even realize that the, I did get her beach nights by itself. So I really do appreciate you guys telling me that because I've never had, I don't think I've ever had her beach nights just solo. Um, but from like vendors beach nights, I think that I would want like, I would rather have like their beach nights mixed with like a cotton note or like linen or something like that. This was um, amazing. I loved this. I had this going in my bedroom. I had this going in my bathrooms. I had this going at work. I love these bars too. I wish more vendors did them. They're just easy to break apart and put in your warmers and then just call it a day. Um, this was really, really, really good, you guys. I love that one. I would get that again for sure. Um, and I'm very appreciative to my friend Scott for sending me that because I was... You know, you would think like beachside linen wouldn't be anything that amazing, but it really was good. Um, okay, so this is from Super Tarts and it's Sansa. This is fresh picked strawberries and pink sugar. This is amazing. I would totally buy a BAM bag of this a hundred times over. Amazing, amazing, so strong, long lasting. I loved this. I will say since it's been hotter than hell here in Oklahoma, I have had my AC blasting uh like 
100% and uh, I'm noticing that some scents prior to that were lasting longer. So unfortunately, I do think I'm going to be in that like realm of, you know, my scents aren't going to be lasting as long because my AC is is blasting, but I mean, it gives me more opportunity to melt my wax, right? I guess. Yeah. Okay, so this is from Lurd Apothecary, and this one is um, Sweet Dreams. So I got this from my friend Angela, and it's lavender, marshmallow, vanilla bean, nectarine, and boom boom. I loved this. This was so good. Um, and I've noticed with the Lurd Apothecary that I do have, it's done really, really well for me. Unfortunately, they're not around anymore. Um, you cannot buy from Lurd anymore. But um, this was so good. To me, this was like Boom Boom with like a sweet orange nectarine note to it. And the lavender like rounded it out to kind of make it more like of a relaxing type scent. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say, oh yeah, I want to melt this for bed, but it was really nice. Um, I enjoyed that. I melted that a lot at work too. Um, okay, this next one is from Glitterati and it's um, Strawberry Pound Cake, Blackberry Bliss, and Coconut. So I got this from my friend Scott again. And um, I loved this, you guys. This was so good. So the date on here that he put was 2-7-22. So I thought, oh, you know what? It says January 22 on the label, actually. Um, I have never ordered from Glitterati, but I would order this. Like, this was amazing. This, to me, smelled like strawberry pound cake mixed with, like, a blackberry and, like, coconut shavings or something like that. You got everything. Yeah, it was really good, you guys. I love this. I put this in one, I think maybe it was on Sunday, and I had it going, and I woke up the next morning, and I could still smell it. It was amazing. Um, I love this. I think this was, like, part of a loaf or something, like a chunk. It was so good. I loved it. Um, from Rose Girls, I finished this one up yesterday. It's no shoes, no shirt, no problem. It's Salty Sea Air, Salty Mariner, Swimming Pool, which is fresh, clean, and green. Um, I had this primarily going in, like, my bathrooms because I noticed it wasn't that great of a throw in my, like, my open area, I think. Or was that another scent? I can't remember. But um, I I liked this. It was good. Uh, I, I don't know if I, like, absolutely need to get this again. But I'm glad I tried it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was good in my bathroom. So I would recommend it too. Um, I have a couple of samples in here. This is from L3 and it's Seaside Cotton. This was like two little heart shapes I had going in my uh, master bathroom. And this was so good. I, I swear it's like the, to me, if you don't like salty sea air, if you mix it with the cotton or like a linen, it makes it to me a lot better. Um, I love this. It like went out into my master bedroom. It was really good. And then from Love Fat Wax or for Love for All Things Wax, this is Salty Sea Air, Blue Cotton Candy, and Serendipity. So I put this in my guest bedroom. Um, I don't remember. Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. This went in there for three days in a 20 watt hot plate, you guys. This was so good. I love this. To me, they're... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this smel smells to me like, um, I don't know, like, I, I don't want to even say, I, I don't know, it, but good, it's good. I loved this, you guys. I would totally order this, and I would like to try more blends with Serendipity. To me, it's kind of like more of like a sophisticated, like perfumey kind of scent. Um, I loved it. I would totally go out of my way to order that. Um, okay. So I have one more that isn't from L3, and this is from that Smell Good shop, and it's Key Lime Pie. It says sweet, creamy, and tangy. So I ended up warming this on, um, <laughs> kind of a funny store. I melted this on Mother's Day. Before I left, I woke up pretty early and I put this in my open area. And um, the main reason for that was because, so, I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to melt that day. And my mom loves key lime pie and she loves, I think she would love those types of scents, even though she doesn't live with me anymore. But I 
decided that I would put this in because it just kind of reminded me of my mom, I guess. And it was so good. So I put this in my open area, like kitchen, living, dining. And then I mixed it in my kitchen with Sandra D from Rose Girls, which is strawberry shortcake, peach, and Ella wafers. It was a really good combination in there. I loved it. Yeah, because to me, I'm not crazy about this scent solo, but mixed with that key lime pie, you guys, it was so good. It was really, really good. Okay, moving on to L3 empties, and then we'll get into what I didn't finish. So this is from L3, and it's, again, the rest of these empties are from L3. It's Peter Rabbit's Restorative, which is Earl Grey Tea Lavender Lemongrass. So I put this in my open concept pretty much every time that I warmed it. And I loved this. This to me is like a tea, like a summer tea scent with lemongrass. I guess it's the lemongrass that makes it more of like a summer tea blend. And the lavender in here just kind of made it like a more of a calming scent, I guess. Oh, I love this, you guys. This was so good. Like, I love this. I would totally order this again. Um, I thought it was great. And for the amount of time that I cured it, it did well for me. Um, I would try this again for sure, but maybe even try it in another form of wax other than a scoop and just see how it is. Um, okay, this is uh, Bitty Betty Loaf. And I got this from my friend Angela. It's Sweet Lavender Peppermint Mallow Nella Wafer. Um, I, this was a Bitty Betty I chopped up. I loved this scent. Annie, if you're watching this video, I think you would love this. This is so good. Uh, to me, this is more of a like sugar cookie, lavender kind of scent. It has to obviously be the Nella Wafer note in here. This was amazing. I loved it. I would absolutely repurchase this scent. It was fantastic. It was so good. So good. Okay, this is Luna. This was an owl I got, I think like at the end of summer last year. And I love this on cold, but I got no throw from this at all. It was such a pretty scent warming, I mean on cold, but I couldn't smell anything warming. And I put this whole owl in my open area and I got literally nothing. Um, from L3, Liana's Lullaby. I've been dying to try this and I saw this in the round robin box. So I picked it up just to see um, if I would like it and I loved it. Um, my only complaint is that it was like a light to medium throw, but even then it was still so good. Um, but the date on here says 521. So I might end up, uh, I was thinking I might end up trying that I would totally buy this again, but warm it within a year, like maybe six months and see how strong it would be then. But this was so good. It was like a soapy, but in the best way possible, like relaxing, pretty scent. It was kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but I loved it. It was so good. It was so good. Okay, um, let's get into what I didn't finish. So I'm gonna start with like the bigger stuff first, I guess, maybe. Um, I, no, let's, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys like, what did I warm for bed? Well, just, sh I'll show you, oh, hello, I can't speak. I'll show you guys what I warmed like for bedtime, like as a bedtime scent for me first. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So my friend Scott sent me some brittles from Sassy Girl Aroma. And I thought, well, since I just ordered like a million, I might as well, um, warm what I have that's, I've had, you know, longer, obviously, which is going to be the ones that he sent me. So, and I think these are probably cured enough, I hope. Um, but I mean, they, they performed well. So this is at the North Pole. And these, you know, even though this is like a Christmas themed kind of scent, I would warm this any time of year because it's just good for bed to me. And at the North Pole is sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy rich vanilla. It was amazing. It was so good. I love this for bed. I would probably, so I was, I could get away with two cubes, which is what I used in my bedroom, but I think I might end up trying three next time um, just because I want to, but it's still amazing. I love this scent. It was so good. I loved it. 
fantastic. And I'm gonna put that in my bin here so that I can put everything away. So I warmed this on Friday night, and this is Oath. And this I actually put in my open area because I ended up staying at home that night. Um, I was gonna go out and then I was like, no, I'm not going to. So this is her beach nights. And for those of you that don't know what her beach nights is, which I didn't know until like yesterday, it's toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'mores. So what makes this oath is her beach nights plus roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. This was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was so good. You guys, I love this scent. I would order a loaf in this. This is like up there to me with like Montego Bay. Um, I just think she has such good beach nights blends now I'm noticing. And this is no exception to that. I put two rows of this in my kitchen, living, dining, and it was amazing. So I melted like eight, cube, eight cubes total. Um, it was so good. I loved it. I loved it. Amazing. Okay, another bedtime blend that I just absolutely love. This is from BZ Tarts, and I got this from Angela. It's Lavender Sugar Cookie. This was so, so good. I would order a loaf in this. This was a sweet lavender, but oh my gosh, you guys, it was, it's just so good. It's so good. I am going to have to look on his website and see if I can order this because, um, and I don't normally do that. Um, like, oh, I just want to get that one set. But this one, you guys, is just, I mean, oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys. This is so good. And this was a scent shot. I cut into four pieces. I would put in my warmer at night before bed in my bedroom. Wake up the next morning, still smell it. I would come home from work, still smell it. So good. I loved this. I need more of that. It is amazing. Okay, another bedtime blend I did is um, one that I just kind of made up one random night. And it's these are both Scentsy. I mixed almond, almond croissant with graham cracker crunch. It was good. I liked it. Um, yeah, it was to me like a peanut butter croissant, I guess. If, is that the best way for me to describe it? I don't know. But um, it was a good combination. I would try it again and I would actually try it again in like my open area and see how I would like it then. But sometimes I'm, I get in the mood for um, bakery for bed instead of lavenders, peppermints. I like to change it up every once in a while. But um, almond croissant, I love almond croissant by itself. Graham cracker crunch to me smells like peanut butter. So just that's how I feel at least, but it's, it's good. Okay, the other bedtime blend I did is from L3 and it's Mallow Fireside Peppermint Pink Sugar. I just love this scent. It is so amazing, you guys. It is pink sugar, it's peppermint, it's amazing. Like, it's so, so good. I, this is probably one of my all-time favorite bedtime blends of all time. Like, it is so amazing. I love this, and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a bedtime scent. It's so good. Um, okay, so I did talk about the Sandra D from Rose Girls. Um, this is Strawberry Shortcake Peach and Ella Wafers. I don't love this by itself. I feel like I wish I was getting like strawberry jam in here or something. It just needs something else. So, and I've been mixing this and I definitely prefer it mixed than solo. That's just my opinion. But yeah, it's not a bad scent, but it's it's not one that I would repurchase. So yeah. Okay, um, the other scoops I have here. Oh, I forgot. I melted this mixture last night. I melted the Mallow Fireside Peppermint Pink Sugar with Santa's on Keto. I just wanted to see if you know, it would be a good combination. I really like the Santa's on Keto. It's vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cookies. I think out of all of her like gourmand vanilla or like bakery blends, this one is my favorite. This is an excellent mixer. I really do like this mixed. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I thought the combination of the two was good. I probably wouldn't do it again, but um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. 
And then the last scoop is Beach Don't Kill My Vibe from L3. It's Palo Santo, Boom Boom, and Coconut Cream Pie. So this is a small scoop. This was a customer creation. I don't get any Palo Santo, so just kind of a heads up. But this to me is like Boom Boom heavy for sure. But the coconut note in the Boom Boom is like more of a gourmand version of, of coconut to me and it's richer and more bakery but i wouldn't consider this a bakery scent at all i love it i love it but again i don't get any palo santo which is fine with me oh it's so good you guys i love this i put this in my open area just to give you an idea because i've only melted this once that's how much wax i used for my whole open concept area and it did amazing so um i love this and so far i w oh i got some wax on me so far, um, I would repurchase this scent. Um, I think this is my second, no. This so far out of the Boom Booms that I've tried this year is my favorite. It's really good. Okay, moving along. I have a couple of larger items. I have a, a root beer float from L3. Um, I like this. I do, I really like this actually, I should say. It's just faded a little bit since I've, had it um or since i melted it recently maybe it was it could just be my ac you guys i'm not really sure but um i do like this i would recommend it i just don't need a loaf i don't need a loaf of root beer float that's just my opinion um and then perfect from super tarts which is one of my all-time favorites it's strawberry pear and ginger ale yeah it to me it's just amazing and i know most people that i've heard talk about this they think it's good, they don't love it. I love it, I think it's amazing. It's really good to me. Okay, I need to keep putting those in there. Um, this is from Lurd Apothecary, it's Soda O'Shea, and it's Tropical Soda, Orange Soda, and Cream Soda. I have a hard time, um, I, it just makes me sad, you know, because when vendors close up, it's like I don't want to like anything. <laughs> because I'm not gonna be able to get it anymore. This was really good. I put this in my bedroom, loved it. Put it in my guest bedroom, loved it. It was really good. I think I actually put this in my master bath too, yeah. Really good scent. It is like, a, like an orange fizzy soda to me. This was really, really good. I enjoyed that very much. From Dessa's Homespun Scents, this is Candyland which is spun sugar, blue raspberry, tart lime, cookie crumble, and vanilla. This was really good. This to me smells like blue raspberry, like, like a blue raspberry icy with a cookie note. It was really good. I melted this at work. Um, I just thought it would be fun to change it up. I did put two cubes in and it was really good. I enjoyed this. I don't think I need more, but I'm glad that I tried it. It was really good. I'm currently warming from Rainbow Melts, Dark Night, and it's Palo Santo, Blackberry, and Marshmallow Fireside. I love this. It's doing so well in my open area. You guys, I just love it. It's just amazing. Um, it sucks because Rainbow Melts is kind of hard to get, you know? And um, if I see this available, I will probably order it and just get a whole bunch and call it a day because I just, I love this scent so much. It's just amazing. It's so complex and unique. It's amazing. I'm currently warming in my bedroom, Super Tarts Beast, which is blueberry and cornbread. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's so good. I melted it in my open area one night. Amazing, you guys. I just love this. Beast. It is always going to be a repurchase for me. It is amazing. Amazing. And I love her cornbread scent. It's so good. All right. Last but not least, I wore this one yesterday morning and it's Office from Super Tarts. This was so good, you guys. So good. I put this in yesterday morning. I'm going to say like around 8, 830. Oh my God. It's a really good, to me, it's a heavier bakery coffee scent. So just kind of a heads up. 
This did so well. It was so good. I loved this. It was such a good coffee blend. I was very pleasantly surprised with this. So I would highly recommend Office if you like bakery coffee scents. So there you go. All right, you guys, that's going to conclude my empties, what I melted this week. Thank you guys, honestly, so much for watching. I will be filming and uploading a Rose Girls um, pre-order haul soon. And yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.